So you've uh, you've joined us here again. Here we are. This time, Sam and I are working together, and we're preparing for the film challenge today. Not always the easiest task in the world, but sometimes we have to make sacrifices. So we're here. We're working together, and we've made some we've made some choices. We've made uh, we've made a promise to each other that we're going to work together, we're going to put aside our differences. You've seen how we how we were in the past, you know, there's been interruptions and there's been uh, well, lots well, of... Well, 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 it's all part of the creative process though, you know, I bounce off you, you bounce off me and then I keep on speaking and then you try to interrupt and then I have to interrupt you later on. It's all part of the process. Yeah, yeah, it is, yeah, yeah. And then the, the process ends and, you know, I'm not going to go into that. Oh. Oh. I'm busy, as you can see. I need to get back. In, I need to get in that shower. Yeah, are you oh, almost ready? Shower. I'll be washing clean. Yeah. Okay. That'd be a turn up for the books. Clean for once. Uh, anyway, yes. So we've we put aside our differences. We're working together, and uh, that right there is exactly why he's going out today to round up the cast and the actors, because they're obviously going to want to work with us and not the competition. And I'll be staying right here. I'm going to do all the behind the scenes stuff today. Very busy. I've got to order all the equipment we need. I need to order some specific lighting because you guys know how I feel about lighting. It can make or break the film. Hmm. <laughs> hey Sam, it looks like Fire Industries are back. They're, uh, they're registered. They're in. I'm guessing that's Jane. Jane? Yeah. Well, nothing for us to worry about. We're the professionals. <laughs> exactly. You heard it from the man himself. We're the professionals. Hello, um, thank you for coming and joining me in this lovely sort of dive bar, wherever, whatever it is. Um, but we're actually here to meet with Ryan, um, which you might find surprising as Ryan and I have not got the best track record. But sort of approaching the sort of 48 hour film challenge, we've decided to go for a comedy theme, which we're hoping will be quite a sort of unusual take on, you know, like family meal, tears into misery. You instantly just think sadness and so yeah. And then we were like racking our brains thinking like, oh, who could we do this? And I just said like, Ryan, obviously, he is the perfect person. He's funny and he'll do whatever, you know, pretty much. So I'm really hoping that he'll sort of jump on board with it. And I think it could be really good. Right, so I think I'm there, down at Canoe Lake. How's it going with you, Paul? Just talking to Paul in case you didn't know. Really? I mean, that sounds amazing, but we don't really have a budget for anything over zero, really. Yeah, I know, I get it, it's stressful. Stressful looking for locations, but we split the jobs. You go and snooze with the people and make sure we get things for free, and I'll go and make our friends like us again. Because that's what we're good at. I'm better with people. You're better at, you know, selling things. Okay. Alright, well, I'm, uh, to be honest with you, Paul, I'm kind of wasting my time talking to you. So I'm going to give Ross a call because I have absolutely no idea where he is. Alright. Yeah, spaghetti. Yeah, spaghetti. That sounds good. Alright, bye. Okay, so I can't find Ross. We've been all around. No sign of him. My only slight reservation is just, you know, obviously Ryan is Ryan and he comes with, uh, you know, an ego the size of a house. And uh, now that he's like a big star, I imagine that's probably not got any better, but I'm hoping he's not going to be un... Wow. Yo. Wow. That, that is an outfit and a half. Thanks. 
that is really Sonic. You alright? Yeah, you? Yeah. <coughs> Pop and slide. And slide? No? We did the slide. Yeah, of course we did. <sighs> um, anyway, so thank you for joining me. Obviously you know Jackson. Uh, the reason I've asked you here is because, I don't know if you know about the 48 hour film challenge. I know about the 48 hour yeah. film challenge. Okay, cool. So I'm actually working with Alice and Rishi and we are going to be... Did you recognise me? Oh, what in this? No, with the glasses. Did you, did you recognise me? N no. That's good, that's good. That's what I was going for. That's why I decided that we should meet here. We want to keep off the beaten track a little bit. Well, I mean, I literally think no one would willingly choose to come here, so you should be fine. Well, it's a, it's a nice pub. It's a good pub. But, you know, if we go anywhere else, I'll get recognised and I just can't have my fans flocking around me all that time. So, I do, I it's do. a good thing that you didn't recognise me. That's, that's good. It means the glasses are working. Yeah. They are definitely doing something for your face. They're doing anyway. good things. Um, so, yeah, so 48 Hour Film Challenge. I'm working with Alison Rishi on it. And we're really hoping that you would be on oh, board. Oh. Can you do that kind of thing? And the 48 hour film challenge. What kind of thing? You know, th that kind of thing? No, no, it's not that kind of film. We're doing a comedy. Hey, Ross. Yeah, no, I'm down Canoe Lake. Okay, yeah, yeah, all right, I can't. Oh, you, you're, you're closer to the trees. Okay, no problem. You're on a what? Is it a good idea that we come over when you're on a romantic date? Okay, alright. Oh, I'll see ya. Alright. See you in a sec. Bye. Right, he's just over there. So we're gonna get that team together. Is, uh, is Ross a vital member? Well, is Ross not a vital member, you know? That's what Jane's problem was. She never recognised that people like Ross, Ryan, they're all essential to what makes us work. I mean, it helps that you have someone like me as a bit of a visionary to get him to do it right, but it works for sure. Hey, guys! Hey, what's up? Hey, Hello. 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 Oh. Uh, How are you doing, man? How's it going? Good. You all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm good. Um, cool, 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 man. Who's... Uh, uh, Katie! Uh, oh, Katie! Hi. You know Katie? Hello, nice to meet you, Katie. Nice to meet you. From, the, from the yacht party. Yacht party? Yeah, the yacht party. The, uh, oh, I don't think old, the, 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 the like, ice dog thing. Um, Barbecue. No, ice that was... Ice dog? That was... No? That was my friends in Jemima and... Oh. It was just a small gathering on my house. Oh, the, I was there, right? But, your, oh, of course you were there, honey, yes. Yeah, you were yeah. there, yeah, no, but, but Sam wasn't oh, okay. there. Your, your, uh, your dad's yacht? Oh, yes, just there. Oh, and yeah, this sure. is serious. I'm sorry, that sounds a bit, you know. <laughs> you know, I mean, you guys are happy <laughs> and it's all good. Hey, she's, she's, she's oh, proper. sorry. She's, she's proper. My, um, going okay? <laughs> are you okay? <laughs> my phone's What's vibrating. Up, I just need to answer a call. Oh, it's Paul. I'll be back in a minute. Uh, uh, okay, mate, okay. And we want you to be our lead actor because, you know, you're funny. Anyway, so the title, I don't know if you know about the title, the title is Family Dinner Turns to Misery. Uh, no, 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 no. I've already got my own thing going on. I'm a superstar. I've won Oscars. These guys won me, well, not necessarily Oscars, but I've won awards. I'm a superstar. I got millions of fans, probably billions of fans. Nah, why would I want to get involved in a comedy? So that people actually take you seriously as an actor? Jean. Jean, I don't want to make people laugh. But I want to turn people on. Don't want to make them laugh. I want to turn them on. Um, well, I guess it kind of de depends on how you view porn, but I guess that's kind of funny. But this is like your chance to get back into mainstream and actually get... I am mainstream. <sighs> You're missing I'm gonna, I'm gonna be going on for ages. I don't need to do comedy. 
Look, Ryan, I mean, just, you're a really good actor and you've gone to waste and you've been given some really turd roles in the past. And I'm offering you a really good role and I'm just hoping that you well, would... Brilliant. Thank you. Now you're on your phone. Obviously, you know how we met, right? No, I, I don't think you told me. Well, it was uh, that salsa thing. Yes. Salsa pub, the path. Oh, uh, well, they a were good having night. a salsa, salsa night. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, a bit of dancing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was just there for the dip, though. You know, I really like salsa. The tortilla chips suck, though. Hey? They weren't getting good. Yeah. Hey, hey, everyone got up and had a dance. Yes. I just kind of sat there and watched. No, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> Feel your eyes on me. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, oh, you guys it? look so good together. Yeah. Look how happy they are as a couple. Beautiful, They're such a day. nice couple. <laughs> Lovely woman. Right, you know, yeah. I'm really happy that you two brought us the film challenge and uh, we're she, everyone this together. Definitely the, she's kind of winning me on with the idea there. Oh, well, that's you're so brilliant. excited, aren't I you? I mean, Jackson's kind of helped me kind of spread it. Well, as you know, we definitely need you on the team. We can't not have a bit of Ross magic. Yeah, thank you. Just appreciate that, bro. But maybe you could be part of the team and, you know, uh, okay. we can talk more about like what uh, you could do. I'm a bit do. busy, but... Uh, <laughs> oh, don't worry. You won't have to physically do anything. Just, oh. you know, let us have a little look at this big old... Yacht you Don't worry, I'll, I'll do all the heavy yachts. lifting. Yeah, yeah we, could, we could possibly talk about yachts and maybe mansions and, you know, well, help us out I, with getting the best place. We could have a ferry. We could have a ferry? Yeah, yeah. yeah. How about we uh, we celebrate about this potential uh, yacht location chat with uh, ice creams? Uh, ice creams on me? Ice creams. Oh, you did promise me an ice cream, yes. Yeah, all right, ice creams. Ice cream, ice cream there we go. on me. All right, let's go, let's go. Okay. Um, but we got to get a speedboat. Yeah, we can get a speedboat. Right. We can get whatever her money's got. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There you go. Thank you, love. Right, I'll get you back on. You're my dear. Thank you. Yeah? Cool, cool, cool. Um, so, but yeah, it's... Uh, can I get two ice creams? Are you pushing? Are you pushing? You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Yeah? yeah, yeah do you want ice cream, We're bro? all back together. <laughs> ice creams and mansions and yachts. Yeah, the game! It's going to be a good future. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Cool. Is there somewhere else that you need to be, or, you know, Hollywood calls? Uh, yeah, I need to, um, I need to make a quick phone call. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So I'm just flabbergasted. Ryan's actually just apologised to me for, like, the first time in, I don't know, well, like, forever. That's weird. I just... No, I need to know if he's in or if he's out. Like, oh, gross, like, pun not intended, but... Every now and then, sometimes we have to be honest with ourselves. And I know that I wasn't fair to you at your audition. I mean, there was a lot of good talent, but you should have got a little bit more, um... Respect. I should have respected you a bit more, you know, a bit more respect should have been given to you. I thought to myself, who is this Erin? Who is she? So I thought, I'll check out your showreel. And I watched it with the Kung Fu and the, the 18th century stuff and I think there was something where you did an American accent. And I thought, you know what? We need the E factor, we need the Erin factor just to <laughs> liven it up a bit more, you know? And, yeah. Yeah, that, and that's why, and Paul agrees with me. Paul Renoir, well, I'm working with him on this, and um, he's going to be like assisting, directing, oh, you know, but we're working together. We're going to be on the same page then, but I'll be in charge. Ah. But yeah, like, we thought that you were the perfect one for this film, and we want to make okay. the most winning film possible. The winning ingredient is everything. So mm. come and win with us. It's a win-win scenario, right, if we keep on winning? Okay, so, but what actually is the film about? Well. We like to keep some things a mystery because it's a film challenge. You know, you want to be challenged by not knowing exactly what you do until the day. Okay, but, but will I be getting the scripts beforehand this time? Yeah, yeah, pa Paul's working good. on that. Paul will be in touch about that. Oh, he good. asked me to get your phone number and your email address and then you can directly contact him and have a whale with him, you know, oh, have a time of your lives. I mean, I absolutely love Paul's work. I've, I can't wait to work with him. <laughs> Who doesn't love his work, right? <laughs> <laughs> so are you looking forward to uh, working with Paul and Sam? Um, absolutely, well Paul, absolutely. I mean, I absolutely love his work, he's such an amazing director, I just, I can't wait to work with him. Um, Sam, hmm, not so much. I mean, 
I'm just glad now he's finally realised and come to his senses. I mean, he didn't treat me great at the audition and I just felt so annoyed that I was overlooked. I mean, I thought I did a great job, but I'm just glad he's realised that now and shoes on the other foot, basically. <laughs> So the reason I've come here today is, I don't know if you know, but there's a 48 hour film challenge and I'm putting a team together and I'd really, really like it if you and Kevin would join and star in my film. Wow, I'd, lo I'd absolutely love to, yes. Excellent. You want to tell me a bit about it? Well, um, yeah, okay, well, we only got the synopsis a couple of days ago and it just says that a family meal turns to misery, which right. everyone automatically, I think, will think, oh, you know, horror or, or whatever. But I want to put a different spin on it and do a comedy. Perfect. Because I think, Perfect. you know, other people yes. won't think about that. So, um, yeah, so. I think that's a great idea. Family dynamics are full of huge veins of comedy aren't yeah, they yeah exactly even when they're sort of a bit bit tragic comedy but they really are that's a great idea and i'm fairly sure that i can speak for kevin in this that yeah. I, he'd love to have a go yeah definitely just because you've got a really good dynamic and i mean um alice is already on board she's going to be doing wow. it as well and obviously you've done loads of stuff together yes. and that really works and i'm also hoping and praying that Ryan will come on board with it as well. Wow, what a team. Just because it's meant to be comedy, and he is a really good comedy yeah. actor, and he's got so much potential. I think this could be a, a, a role, and obviously to get him out of, you know, the sort of CD. Yeah, 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 the CD porno. Yeah. <laughs> porno guy. Yes, it would be good for him, wouldn't it? Yeah, it yeah, would. Definitely. Hey, I'd love that. Yes, yes, please. Excellent, mm. thank you. Mm. The only sort of thing that might put you off and I want to be completely open here is that Sam is also entering into the film competition with a different team see me and me and Rishi have right. set this up together and got Alice on board and obviously you and Kevin and hopefully Ryan okay. um, but I know that Sam's teamed up with Paul and they're pitching an idea and putting something together so I don't want that to cause a problem for you obviously with him being well, your son for a start, I didn't even know he was, which is unusual. Really? Mm-mm. -mm. What, mean, you I, never mentioned... No, no, he's not mentioned this at all. He, and, and we see each other virtually every other day, so that's odd in itself. Mm -hmm. um, I don't see it as a problem. But the other thing, too, with Sam is that, you know, he hasn't cast me in that much lately, and he certainly hasn't cast me in any roles that I could really get my teeth into. So, you know... If he puts his nose out of joint a bit, well, tough. You know, these things happen. Yeah. I mean, they certainly happen in amateur dramatics. We've uh, had a situation recently where we cast a, a very talented girl who came from outside the group mm -hmm. um, in, in, the, in the lead role. Now, there's another woman that I won't mention her name, but she normally expects, by right almost, you know, divine right, to yeah. get this lead role. And she didn't. My God, the work of Fuffle and the, the crap on Facebook and all this, that and the other. And she's steamed off and we haven't seen her for several months. And we're here, she's joined another group. Oh. Mm. But there you go. So I think you have to be a bit thick-skinned about these things. You know, it's, it's mm. the play or the film or the project that matters, not people's egos. You know? Okay, yeah. So yeah, to be uh, to be a great method actor, you know, as I am, um, I use uh, I've quite a few tactics. Uh, one of my biggest tactics is I it's what I call upside down naked yoga. Um, it's basically where it's like normal yoga, but instead you are for most of the time hanging upside down. I find it lets the 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 blood rush to your head, um, and that therefore gives you that kind of impulse to get into the character and zone of the character more. Um, you'd be naked as well, which helps I find, because it gives you that level of, you know, like when you dream and you're, you're talking in front of people and you're naked, it, it, it creates that fear, which I also find adds to character development. Um, yeah, also. yeah, I mean, just to interrupt you there, yeah. you know us, we're fine with actors being naked. Hopefully we get the other Tom on and he likes to get a little bit naked too, so. Yeah, it's fine, the more people we can get to do it, and the more, Everyone, you know, more people that are naked as well, 
we kind of get to know each other before you even speak because you know, mm-hmm. you've seen what people are. Well, that's um, it. We'll, we'll, we'll get you a little cubicle or some little area to strip on down and get on upside oh, down. No, no, don't need a cubicle. Just make it, you know, open. <laughs> open. Let everyone see what you have to bear, you know? Um, that's one method. Definitely one method. Yeah, we don't have to oh, do it all in one. Sorry to interrupt. Okay. Another phone call. This thing has been going off all day. Okay, then. Hello? Hi, Paul. Uh, yeah, no, I'm with Tom right now. So, oh, Tom the Third's in. Cool. So I get this Tom in, and then we're Tom squared. Yeah. Well, I thought it was funny. All right. Okay. All right. See you in a bit. Bye. Was that um, Paul Renoir? Yep, the Renoir himself. That was him. All right. Did he? Did he mention me at all? <laughs> why, why would he mention you? Well, because you know we're. We're quite close, we're quite close buddies, we're like this, remember? From the previous... Uh, well, you know, you say this, I say... Like, your fingers on this hand, so you're more like this, but you know each other. I wouldn't say you're close buddies, you Yeah, know? he kind of said we were, we were close, he was going to, you know, take me to the level he was at, and... On, and, you know, we was almost equals uh, at this point. Equals on the, on the level? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, you're both around... Here. He's vying a little bit more up there, and you're a little bit down there. Why well, you think he's a bit high still? Yeah, is that what you're saying? Well, you know, he is the Renoir, and your man in the background, Tom, can say a few lines, gets everybody happy. You know? No, no. You know, it's, well, you, no. well, come on. I, I don't mean it exactly in those. No, words. I know what you're saying. You're saying Paul Renoir is better, basically, aren't you? I, I'm so, well, I'm not saying Paul Renoir is better. I'm saying that you. Right, let's just be honest with each other. You don't like me, and I don't like you. But, that's the past. And I'm here to give those first kind of, you know, if we were, this was the moon, here's my flag, and here's my hand for a handshake. Friendship. You know, that's what Paul wants, that's what we all want. We want to make the best film possible, and friendship is the first path to that, possibly. I think handshakes are strange, man. Come on, let's bring it home. Well, what do I do? Come on. I... There we go. I've still got my hands there kind of go. waving. Yeah. I don't think this is necessary. Hiya. I'm just looking back through the plot and through our synopsis and trying to think how I'm going to recast this. I mean, I've got the mum and I've got the dad and I've got the younger brother and like the nan and the granddad and obviously Ryan was going to be the older son returning home who gives the bad news and now he's not doing it. So back to square one, which I guess could be a blessing in disguise, but I really like, I just, I've contacted everybody else that I could possibly see in the part, like with the other people acting in it as well. And it's just, no one's free or no one wants to do it and just the whole thing seems to be a fucking disaster right now so you're asking me what I'm doing I don't really know what I'm doing or what I'm gonna do so I'm not sorry I'm not expecting anything so cool. oh hello um hi uh, do you wanna come in? Yeah. I, I wasn't um, expecting you. Yeah, I know. I know. Um, I'll I'll do the film. Really? Yeah. I I want to do the film. Okay. Well, that's that's great, obviously. But so, what, what? I yeah, please, please let me do the film. Okay. I think I think. You know, I've, I've, reconsider, I've, I've reconsidered and thought about everything that you said, and I think that you know it might it might be nice to branch out and do some some other stuff. And if if comedy's kind of what I'm good at, then um sure, uh, so, yeah. So like, what happened? I thought you were like busy and stuff. Well, yeah, I might be busy again. I they got rid of me. What? Oh, why? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I mean, 
They just, they Did just... something happen? They won't tell me, but I'll find out. I will definitely find out, because this isn't fair. No. I just, just want to, just... Uh, can I, can I please be the... Yeah, uh, yeah of course, thank I'm you. okay. Thank you. Am um, I hugging again? Thank you. Okay. Mm. <laughs> okay, right. Sorry. Um, cool. Well, I guess we've got a lot to talk about, so do you want to come through? And, um, I mean, do you want tea or coffee or...? Can I have a hot chocolate, please? Sit down in your work clothes and ask me how's my day It's just been a bit different since my time at Byron Bay only if I listen to you Now I suffer from these shin splints And I got a stone in my shoe